Not all the chocolates in your Halloween candy bag are Soma quality. Let's be honest, probably none. But all chocolate, before it becomes edible, goes through more steps than you would imagine. So, let's show you. Here are the nine phases of chocolate production at Soma. It starts off as 60 kilo bags of fermented and dried beans from Peru, Venezuela, Colombia, Madagascar, so on. A cleaning machine spins the beans to remove twigs and cigarette butts. A de-stoner shoots air from underneath to separate rocks. Beans go into the hopper of the roaster, 120 kilos at a time. The machine spins and heats them for about 30 minutes. Then the winnower cracks the beans, feeding them onto a conveyor belt to remove the husks and discard pieces too small. Two grinders fitted with stones turn the nibs into a fine paste, 20 microns if you're counting. Like peanut butter, the grinding releases the fat of the bean, which goes from solid to liquid. When they're cool, they're solid again, now called liqueur. The liqueur blocks along with sugar go into the ball mill, a heated cylinder half filled with steel balls that spins, heats, and reduces the particle size of the chocolate. From there, it's fed into the conch, which paddles, whips, heats, and aerates the chocolate, eliminating the acidic and bitter flavors. And then it's ready to enrobe caramels to be poured over cookies and create the host of products you know and love, to be gobbled up as if chocolate were plucked from a field like a tomato or born in a lab like the original Human Torch. Look it up.